girly voice has anybody said that um you have a, a voice that doesn't match you because a Loki, voice that doesn't match me because loki when i first you, met you i didn't know you were gonna have a deep ass voice You're i like, don't i don't know because because it's, it's it's weird i i wouldn't know because i don't know like my outside perspective does that make sense yeah like yo what do i kind of sound like because you know when you're recording a video yeah and then you hear it and it was like ew my voice kind of sounds cringe. no nah, you know you know that time you're like you sound like a squirrel oh you yeah. were kind of accurate with that. i don't know why <laughs> Because no, I, I know my voice is squeaky, so I'm like, it's not squeaky, but it's like really fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's really like <laughs> that's your voice. That's jittery, your voice. Jittery. But how how do you describe my voice then? It's like smooth, but it's like deep. But I feel like I talk in like waves though. Yeah. The, okay. The way you talk on this podcast is like yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess if we're just chilling and normal, it's like yo, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's like hella deep. Do I, do I sound like that in public? <laughs> nah, I don't know. It's just deep to me. Like you could pull off ASMR, like. A deep ASMR. ASMR. I don't know. See, look, just just <laughs> listening through this, you were like, yo. <laughs> nah, but I could, I, I could probably do like you know those those seductive freaking narration. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yo, shit. if y'all want to hire me for that, <laughs> yo, the, the hotline is like, yo, call, call Carlos for a, a free service, or even like you know, we're not sponsored, but fucking yeah. like aud Audible and shit. You know, you know, I yo. I wonder how much they make, eh? What? Cause, cause those um, those audiobook like narrators. Yeah. Fam, I feel like they make a lot of money. Cause every single every single buy is like a play, and every it's like selling music. Feel yeah, me? That is true. So maybe there's some money out there. Cause if you think about like a music artist, every mm -hmm. single play they get. Yeah. Dog, that's that's racks, right? Not gonna lie, on Spotify, I heard that even though you get a lot of plays, you're gonna paid. Really? Lot. That yeah. Cause I, Uzi for EXO Tour Life, he that's probably his biggest song, billions of plays. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only got paid like a million dollars for that song. What the. F that's on Spotify though. Nah. So I, I mean, I, I guess if Audible's paying better, then yeah, I would do like some type of hire me up. I'll read a book. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> I'll read a book for free, fam. Yo, cause, cause Whoa. I remember I used to, I used to like in high school. Yeah. When I had to read the Outsiders, I had to read like the Giver and shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would rather just like listen to the audiobooks. Yeah. And I was wondering, like, damn, these guys have good voices, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering how much they actually get paid, cause if it's nice. Yeah. I'm like, I kind of want to go into that. That's easy hustle. That's an easy hustle. Because like, if you're doing it at night, just mm -hmm. read a book, get paid for like a few pages. Yeah. I send it in. Exactly. Cash or up. even like, just like the uh, voice actor. Card. Fam, I want to take lessons for that. I, I got to I gotta take <laughs> lessons for some shit, bro. That, oh, wherever a studio is like that, they do it at. Mm -hmm. Fam, let's go. Yo, shout out Just Kidding Films. I remember they did a video where yeah, they went to like a, a voice actor thing, right? <laughs> yeah, and they were doing a commercial. It's like uh, for uh, some lawn lawn contracting thing. It's like, yeah. you want to get your lawn? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like for me, I can't, I can't do those like spontaneous. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not really like those upbeat, yeah. energetic type. I, I bet I could do that. Yeah, I feel like that's you. That's yeah, all yeah. you, mm -hmm. right? But for me, it's got to be some like in the world oh yeah <laughs> i mean like like some trailer <laughs> shit yeah, yeah. oh the trailer shit that's a hundred percent fam but me it's like yeah the uh have you ever heard of mordana <laughs> <laughs> you feel me i would be blessed at that okay if you could voice act in any cartoon oh what would you do? i would low-key voice act in um if they brought back um oh what's that what's that uh squirrel the squirrels that kill each other uh oh um happy tree friends happy tree they friends? didn't talk though bro they didn't talk they didn't? nah they just killed each other <laughs> It, really? it was it was one of those cartoons where they didn't make noise. Oh, remember? Did they? Yeah. Oh shit. Maybe it's a Mandela even... effect. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was gonna say. Like, I swear they made noise. Nah, I think I think it was just like squeaks and shit. I don't think they talked though. Oh. Because I don't remember at all. Like they talked and stuff. I want to be Bart and Bart Simpson because that that was one of my favorite characters yeah. back then. Because I was such a nice kid, but Bart was like my idol because he was like really like, yeah everything like I i'm this bad kid damn that's interesting so yeah. that, that that was your favorite going on yeah i have a vintage shirts i have like three vintage shirts of bart and i'm collecting word yeah that's interesting i, yeah. I would have never thought that for you i know i have to wear i have to wear okay someone. okay well what if you can make like your own character in like a cartoon <laughs> what cartoon would it be i feel like for me yeah it's got to be like it's got to be like a marvel one or like a like a superhero one i just want to be like a superhero one? One. Cause, cause if, if you make like yourself a superhero, then mm -hmm. you can be translated into like the live action. Yeah, and then you can see like a live action version of that. Feel me? But I want to kind of be like a Looney Tunes character. 
Oh, true. Like, so I can feature in Space Jam. Because one of my favorites was Marvin the Martian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. He just didn't talk. He was, like, kind of, like, shy guy. Like, even in Mario, shy guy mm -hmm. loved him. Who's one shy guy again? You don't know who shy guy is, fam? Oh, he's the guy with the mask. Yeah. And he was just like... Yeah, and he doesn't talk. <laughs> he doesn't talk, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That was also my idol. <laughs> Yo, mate, is it is it like, a theory to, to shy guy why he doesn't talk? Yo, there, there's got to yeah. be a, there's gotta be a theory to... Mario, bro, because taking they take mushrooms, yeah, they go into a magical kingdom, uh -huh. they have talking mushroom people, and there's freaking like goombas and shit. This is definitely some mushroom trip shit, you know what I mean? Oh, low key, <laughs> it's definitely it has to be because listen, yeah, he's taking mushrooms, <laughs> he grows into he like grows. he grows, <laughs> you know what I mean? The big mushroom, and they have like I swear they have a purple mushroom where he like becomes skinny. And then yeah. like, he floats. Bro, there's got to be something, right? There's got to be. There and then he gets the flower and he's throwing fireballs. Oh, yeah, bro. Th there's some dark shit about Mario. Whoa, whoa, right? whoa. So he, there's, they're saying that Mario, like the coins are souls. Have you heard of that? Wait, why? That doesn't make sense. So so you can look at it like, okay, coins are just like another mechanic in the game. Yeah, but yeah. But if you really look at it like a theorist aspect, mm -hmm. you can like look at it at a different angle. So you know when you get a fire flower, right? Yeah. And you shoot it at a Goomba. Mm -hmm. It gets it gives you a coin. Yeah, that's true. Right. Mm -hmm. So the Goomba, the fire flower is the only one that really burns anything to a crisp. Mm -hmm. Right. And kills the character. So that's the body getting destroyed and the soul being released. Oh, fuck. yeah, that's kind of that's a good like. And if you really at. bag it, no other item gives coins except the fire flower. Wait, really? Yeah, I looked up on it. So like if you like bounce on him, you no, don't get it, a coin. It's just gas because the body wasn't destroyed and the soul wasn't released. Damn, what the fuck? And there's another one. There's another one where um, when you progress through the game yeah. and you get closer to Bowser's castle, mm -hmm. all those coins were from the people who died uh, before you got there. Oh, shit. And, and, and it's funny because like as you progress, there's less and less coins because they didn't make it. Damn. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> really bad. I was like, yo, what the hell? Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, Mario's deep like that, fam. I, I heard another theory. <laughs> it was like, Princess Peach wanted to get kidnapped by Mario or something. Why? Shit. I don't know. <laughs> She's a pick me girl, fam. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, Mario. I swear there was one where it's like Princess No 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 wait wait. The theory was like the theory was like it was on purpose to put on a show for Mario and the whole thing was actually a play. That's wait. why that's why in oh. Mario 3 everything's like on a stage yeah. and there's like shadows and shit. Yo. And then there's like curtain closed. Yeah, the, the, I remember the curtain. So everything was just a show to like please Mario. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that, fam. Yeah. That makes sense. I swear there was another one where it was like Bowser and Peach are like actually dating. Yeah, yeah, I heard that one too. And then that's yeah. why there's always so many fucking like Bowser kids and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, how many Bowser kids are there? Because I remember in, in um oh, in Smash the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. In Mario Galaxy, mm -hmm. there's freaking Yeah, even in Smash Bros. Yeah. There's like ten of them alive. Mm -hmm. Fam, Mario Galaxy was probably my favorite game. Word. Well, when uh, you just go through every. I other never planet. played it. I never what? played it. Yeah. What was your favorite missing Mario? Out? Yes. What the hell? Damn. My favorite. Yo, Mario Kart. That's my favorite. Okay, but that, that's like the. Oh, no, 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 no. That's Mar like picking Mario in Mario, Mario Kart. Mario at the Olympic Games is my favorite. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're <laughs> that's, right. The, that's the greatest all time, bro. <laughs> that's right. the greatest all time. Yo, I have a funny story because yeah, I remember yeah. um, I had it on Wii, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to strap on the the controller yeah <laughs> yeah when you play right and, and we were doing that 100 meter jog shit or something mm. and then i was at my friend's house right and we were doing we you had to go like this right? yeah 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 so, you gotta so like <laughs> my, my friend didn't strap it on pause and, <laughs> and he started running th through it and like cracked his tv oh fuck this guy and you know on the sleepover he's like fuck, don't tell my mom don't tell yeah, yeah yeah i'm gonna get killed but yeah they didn't find out until next morning <laughs> Because he, he, he was the real one. He's like, Gavin, don't leave. Yeah. I mean, like, leave and then I'll get Paige. I'm like, all right, bad, bad, bad. Bro. <laughs> like, you feel me? Yeah. It was just in his room. So. You ever you ever done something so bad where, like, you gotta, like, hide it? Do you? I'm gonna have to I'll try and think of one. I think, I think the worst thing I ever did, yeah. I can say this on the podcast now because, like, this was in the past, <laughs> yeah. but in high school, remember when I sold, like, a knife to Denzel? It wasn't yeah. even a knife knife. Yo, I have like, oh, it was literally one of these. It's like a kunai knife, right? Okay. <laughs> from Naruto, from Naruto. Still right? a knife though. Bro. So I sold one to him mm -hmm. and he just wanted one because he's a huge Naruto fan. Mm -hmm. So I sold it to him. This was off school property, everything, right? Yeah. This guy brings it to school the next day, fam. <laughs> the next day, this guy brings it to school. <laughs> we're all in the library, right? Yeah. We pull up, we're just talking like, yo, this he's showing our friend fucking Kale. He's showing <laughs> Kale. Like, yo, look, look what I have. Bro, I was pissed because if he gets caught with something, then it's going to be linked to me. Yeah. Then I'm going to get in trouble, blah, the, blah, blah. Exactly. I forgot what happened. Mm -hmm. Kale had it in his hand. 
and we're walking outside of the library. Mm-hmm. This guy drops it on the floor, bro. Yeah. This guy drops it on the floor, and then the teacher. Yeah. She sees it so quick. She like hears the sound, like the jingling off the floor, oh, bro. Yeah. And she's like, "In my office now!" Oh, it's done, bro. Over so with. Kale gets booked, right? Mm-hmm. Kale gets booked, and then Denzel he just goes off and then again like, goes to his class, right? Yeah. Denzel's gonna be featured in the vlogs later. Okay, <laughs> you'll you see who Denzel is. Funny guy, so yeah. Okay, so what happened was all of a sudden I'm in class, mm-hmm. bro. <laughs> knock on the door, do do do. Fam, two of the VPs, two of the vice principals. Oh, like, up. we need to talk to Carlos. I'm like, did you fuck. did you know what was gonna happen or like not nothing at all yet? I didn't think nothing was gonna happen because yeah, yeah. I'm like, Kale's smart enough not to tell nothing, mm-hmm. but it wasn't Kale that told. Yeah, because Denzel got booked too, bro. Yeah. So both the boys are in there. Both the boys are in there, fam. So obviously I'm gonna call down because I'm the one that sold it to him. Yeah. They're bringing me down to the office, bro. And you know those ones are like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. You, know you don't mean? even know what the fuck's going on. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And then right away they're like, all right, tell me the story. And I'm like, what story? What? <laughs> so they already know you're trying to play it off. Yeah, I'm like, what story are you talking about? Yeah. I was like, Carlos, don't don't play like that. Like, just tell us. You know what I mean? So I'm like, no, first thing they did, uh-huh. they like, okay, oh, empty your bag right now. Okay. Pour everything on, on the floor. Yeah. Right? So I had to empty shit, empty shit, right? Bro, <laughs> I was so shit? I was so scared I would have had something. Mm-hmm. It's not like I did have something, but you know that feeling? It's like, oh shit, I, if I have yeah, something. Yeah, bro. So I'm like reaching my back, like, please be nothing in there. Please yeah. be nothing in there. Nothing's in there. I'm blessed, right? Okay, yeah. So they're like, all right, here's what's going to happen. Then mm-hmm. the whole thing got, he got sent to one of those schools for, um, it's like juvenile, whatever. No way. Yeah, and it was, he had to stay there, I think for like a couple weeks. Fam, you never told me this. I never told you that? Bro, this this guy was telling me like, the mans they put in that school yeah. were like face tats and shit. Oh, hell These no. These guys are like the buzz cut. Like, these are the hardest, hardest mans our age. Holy shit. At the time. And imagine does it, yo, why are you in here for anime knife? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like, bro. Like, dog, what? Exactly. Where was this? Where was this place? Do you know? I, I think, I think it's in Durham. I forgot where. Holy I forgot exactly smokes. where. Yeah, yeah, go on. So, yeah. So, I was blessed because I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you just sold it. Like. I, yeah. And then he was like, okay, yeah. Everything checks out. You don't have anything on you. You're mm-hmm. not really selling off school property. Blah, blah, blah. You're blessed, right? Yeah, yeah. But I felt bad for Denzel, bro. How, imagine, imagine your friend, right? Yeah. Someone so innocent f- get caught in the wrong reason yeah. just because of like liking something. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was not a man that, that was meant to go in there, but he ended up in there, bro. That's low key my greatest fear. Like being in the wrong situation at the wrong time, even though you didn't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Cause like my favorite movie was like Holes. Yeah. And like, do you know that guy who got um booked cause he, he some shoes fell on him. Oh and yeah. He, and he had to go to some next, like, like the, what he had like did. bad looking shit, right? Yeah. And I'm like, what if that happens to me? Like, what if I just come up on a pair of thrifted shoes mm. and like that was a, sp- a pair of stolen shoes from like a famous fucking basketball player? Yeah. Or even like if, if bro, I feel like that happens a lot to people because I hear, yeah. you hear the stories of mans that get life sentences. Yeah, bro. I mean, stuck in jail for years, mm-hmm. lost years of their life. I think someone was locked up for like 50 years. For something he didn't do. He's something he was innocent for. And then they ended up having like they paid him like millions, right? Yeah. But even still, is that is that still enough? Right? Yeah. What what's what's worth more to you? Time or, or money? Time, hundred percent. I wanna live. Yeah. Okay. Let's say let's say you face like a fifty year sentence for something innocent you did. Okay, I would be well, cheesed. What's what's your compensation that you want in return? Really, how do you put it? How do you put like a price on it, right? I don't know. You can't because like all my time's gone, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I would just be cheese because I know stories of uh people who who've gotten um, released 50 years later yeah. from something they did that was innocent. And they're cheese because they're like, can you at least give me some type of money? But now he's just free. Mm-hmm. So imagine you don't get money for that. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm like, OK, I miss like half my life now. Yeah. I'm, I'm bad because it's it's because you didn't have like a choice. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like. Would he have made that money? But no, you won't know now because yeah. he took away all of those years. Yeah. Sucks, man. That sucks, man. Even I love those, uh, just because we're talking about jail, the Beyond Scared Straight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those guys, he was like, yo, I can't open the door. You think he's surviving that, bro? Hell no. <laughs> bro, did you see the guy who was doing push ups and then the two of them grabbed him yeah, and yeah. put him on the wall? Or it's like, eat this Kool Aid off my hand. <laughs> I would be like, yes, bro. Yo, what, happen- what happens if you fight them? Like, when you're on the tour? Yeah. No, nah, the, the police won't separate them. <laughs> There's no way you're actually scrapping with them. They, they had the separator, right? Yeah, yeah. Because well, 
I feel like I, I don't know if this is wrong or not, but yeah. if you show your res- or like you show them respect me, yeah. they'll respect you. Feel me? Oh nah, you don't think so? Nah, because I heard I heard I don't know I don't know if it's true, but I heard like if you get locked up and someone picks on you, you gotta show them. You gotta show them you can't. They can't mess with you. Okay, like yeah, that. yeah, like that. But if you're like disrespectful, like half the kids are on the tour, then yeah, you're not gonna get respect. Nah, but look, listen. Someone's bullying you, right? Mm, someone's yeah. bullying. You. I would tell this to my kid too. If somebody's yeah. bullying you, then fucking teach them a lesson. Like show them they can't pick on you. Yeah, feel me. So I feel like mm-hmm. if you're put in that position, like if you if you go to jail, right? Yeah, and someone's bullying you. If you show weakness, they're gonna bully you the fucking rest of your sentence, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't go to jail, so yeah, I wouldn't I know, know this shit. <laughs> but like, I'm just saying that that's that's my mentality from watching all these yeah. movies and shit. Yeah, you would ha- you would be an evil ass. I mean, your your kid would be hella evil, huh? <laughs> nah, chill. <laughs> Cause like I remember you were showing me of like the difference between my childhood photos and Carlos's childhood oh photos. Oh my god! <laughs> you can see which one was like more innocent. <laughs> cause cause I'm over there by like Mickey Mouse, and you're over there with like a nice. a sword. <laughs> <laughs> like ninja stars yeah, and shit. Yeah, exactly. Like you, you're you're over there like this. Yeah, you have to send me that picture so we can show up. <laughs> but yeah, you just look like a generally bad kid, fam. I don't know because I th- I think it's just those. It's just because the cartoons and shit. Yeah, I know. Going back to cartoons, it's, it's all just from that shit. Mm-hmm. Like I grew up on action. I grew yeah. up on like superheroes. Uh-huh. Anything with low key violence was cool back in the day. And then now it's it's more sensitive. Like violence is like oh, yeah. a little bit more. You know, yeah, like you, back off, like you know, you know Tom and Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so violent. You, you have to really realize how violent it was. Mm. Like, like Jerry would like cut off his tail, and then next go oh, regrow it, hit him with a bat. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. None of that is shown now. Yo, even um, if you take it in, even like SpongeBob, shit, that huh? SpongeBob was kind of violent, eh? If you if you bag it, this goes into the the skin theory I told before. Yeah. If you notice, they're peeling their skin back. I read about that. I read right? about that. Their toenails are getting like pulled off. Yeah. Their eyes are getting burned out of their skull. But it's You're such right. a it's such a like a uh, bubbly show. <laughs> yeah. Feel me? You, you don't you don't bag it like if that was shot in live action, that'd be a different story. Oh, yeah. Or if it was shot in a different type of art style, it would be a different story, right? One hundred percent. But they still leave those kind of like little adult themes. You know what yeah. I mean? Because yo. So I, I heard this crazy theory for SpongeBob, bro. <laughs> I don't yeah, man. So there's a theory yeah. that the episode Karate, what was it called? Okay. It was something Karate. I remember when Sandy and SpongeBob were fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> in this episode, in this episode, fucking the whole episode starts uh-huh. off with SpongeBob and Sandy doing karate in yeah. his in his apartment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was like. I feel like Sandy's in my house or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I feel like Sandy's in my house. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she pops out, mm-hmm. time for karate. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, yeah. And then just before, uh-huh. he's like, all right, protection first. So the theory is yeah. that karate is actually a metaphor for sex. <laughs> I read about that one too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. So throughout the throughout the the whole episode, SpongeBob's mm-hmm. thinking about karate all day long, bro. <laughs> all day long, he's at work thinking about karate. He's visualizing like Sandy as like one of the customers. Like, yeah. let's let's play karate. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, was that the episode where it was like I need it? Or no, something? no, that's a different. Oh, okay, one. That's okay, a different okay, one. okay, my bad. But 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 listen. So so they go on a date, bro. Yeah. And the date scene, the date scene is where it's so obvious because it's like. They're trying not to do karate. They're like, let's just have a regular lunch together and, and oh, let's not do karate. But then SpongeBob has to like, oh, I forgot my knife. I guess I got to cut it. I got to cut it. And then SpongeBob is cutting the, the fucking sausages or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And then Sandy's looking at it like, <sighs> Sandy's getting riled up, bro. So I'm cutting sandwiches. Yeah. So she's like, fuck. And all of a sudden, boom, they, yeah. they break down into a, fucking, a big karate scene. <laughs> yeah. They're doing karate all over the park. And yeah. then all of a sudden, Mr. Krabs is like, oh, I see you guys. We're getting doing karate yeah. or whatever, right? Look at these uh-huh. guys. And then there was another like key to it. Mm-hmm. Sandy said this line is like, do you think do you think Mr. Krabs does karate still? Still, right? Because because if you, if you think about it, Mr. Krabs is old. Mr. Krabs doesn't have a wife. Yo, yo. So there, it proves yeah. karate is just a metaphor for sex in that in that episode damn oh my gosh because as a kid you're like yo this is lit they're just chopping up yeah like lettuce and shit we wouldn't know yeah. but it's kind of like that adult theme that they mm. leave for the adults to keep us engaged too do you think nah but do you think they put it in for that reason bro look look at the episode though it was literally like a friends with friends with benefits type of shit. type of thing you know what i mean yeah that whole thing like karate at work thinking about karate at work 
yeah. Ren Min? Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. What the Cause, hell? Because you have to take in these shows, these cartoons, they're not made by kids. Yeah, they're made by they're adults. They're made by adults, bro. Yeah. They're made by adults. And at the end, I think um at the end of the day, if I remember, they were hella tired. And yeah, they're they were just, they were just, they were slumped, <laughs> they're like, You can see SpongeBob is just like, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, there you go, fam. There I you know. go. There's another one. It's funny because I we always talk about shrooms, mm. and there's a theory that every character in SpongeBob is on shrooms. Why? Oh no, it's on a different type of drug. What's well, not? Yeah, no, no, okay, no, no, so no, I'm, no. I'm explaining. Okay, nah. so we'll start with SpongeBob, right? Okay, okay. So SpongeBob is on your favorite, psychedelics. <laughs> Yeah, because he has an imaginary like mindset, mm. and like that's a person who has like um on a good trip. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or has like a really like cool trip. Kind of like when SpongeBob and Patrick were in the box, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And SpongeBob goes from pure happiness to like fearful right away, oh, and that yeah. can represent um good trip, bad trip. Yeah, that's true. You that's true. Me? Yeah, yeah. And so I'm, I'm gonna go on. So Squidward, he's on heroin. Why? <laughs> because it's so sad. Yeah, his mood swings. <laughs> His bad performance at work. Oh, shit. And how he has, like, a deceptive behavior. Damn. And this was the crazy one. Mr. Krabs, Miss Puff. Yeah, They're on cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> They're on the cocaina. No, no. Mr. Krabs <laughs> definitely on cocaine, bro. They're on cocaine. Mr. Krabs definitely on cocaine. Because cocaine makes people paranoid. Yeah. And and uh, he's paranoid about Plankton stealing his stuff. Mm -hmm. And Miss Puff, whenever um SpongeBob gets in her car, mm -hmm. paranoid as fuck. That's why Mr. Krabs is so obsessed with money. Money. Because... Cocaine is fucking yeah, expensive, yeah, bro. Exactly. <laughs> that shit's expensive. That's facts, why. Facts. That's how he's so cheap. Facts. And the only one who's sober is Sandy. Why? You know why? Because she lives so far and she's against all others. Oh, yeah. And, and whenever Patrick and, and, and SpongeBob come over to her, like, her little house, mm -hmm. she's always cheese because they're always high. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. Cue that shit, bro. <laughs> come on, man. Well, what about, what about like, Plankton? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Plankton, I was like, LSD because he's talking to a robot. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Low true. Key. Or he's on some stupid shit, man. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good ass to you, though. That's a yeah, Loki, maybe. But yeah, would you ever want to do your own cartoon? Hell yeah, dude. Well, what would your cartoon be? About? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know what I want to do? I yeah. want to do a cartoon or like even just a show that's like based in Toronto, Toronto culture. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like it's underrepresented, especially like Canadian type of culture. What do you mean by that, though? Because how many how many shows do you see on TV yeah. or Netflix that specifically show Canadian culture? Almost nothing, because yeah. if you bag it, a lot of Canadian culture is American. Mm -hmm. Like we're we're so we're so into like the American media. Yeah, we fucking most of most of the adults here uh -huh. care more about American politics rather than our own politics. Oh have yeah, you, have you bagged yeah, that? The Donald Trump, Joe Biden shit. Yeah, that was all we were talking about. Even though that's not our president. Mm, even our music. Okay, well, music's different because you have some of the best like in the oh, game. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But like TV though. Mm -hmm. underrepresented what do you think yeah because to be honest i can't list a whole bunch of shows the only thing that comes up to my head kim's convenience yeah kim's convenience that's, that's it, it. and like a little wait wasn't scott pilgrim shot in toronto but like yeah yeah scott pilgrim, scott pilgrim. you wouldn't know that though, but no like, yeah nobody knows that yeah, i know nobody nobody really bags that but that's one of my favorites ever yeah especially like um because scott pilgrim was a was a comic book first mm -hmm. And I feel like that was the first book I picked up where it's talking about literally Toronto. Yeah. I mean? Yeah, because Canada, we're, we're, we're known for certain shit. Not being nice. Maple mm. syrup. That's what they think about us. That's what they you think. Know, That's like, what they think. They, they don't show like the multi multicultural side. Yeah, fam. They don't show like the the sharing of different cuisine, the sharing <laughs> of different like slang and bro, different like cultures, bro, you know? you go downtown, you'll see a falafel shop, an Asian shop, a Jamaican. Like, Literally all, all in the same, strip, all in fam. the same strip, right? I know, I and know. then you, you'll see like some of my black friends doing filipino things you know oh, what yeah, i mean just met top boy and shit you know Facts. they don't talk about that I know, man. and i feel like that that's kind of like a, a culture that's not it's not represented is that multicultural or that diversity you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. that kind of like marriage routine cultures yeah right yeah, that's true because because what i mean the high school we went at was mostly white dominated yeah yeah and uh, yeah actually i don't know because we're all kind of se segregated like some there's a lot of filipinos in, in scarborough mm -hmm. and then brampton that's most of the you know and then um no but i feel like everywhere everywhere in in kind of the gta is very diverse i want to say that and, no because if you go to the states for white white people if you go to the states though come on bro maybe if, i haven't been in the states for that long yeah because if, if you go to states because i was in like arizona yeah, i went yeah. to chicago illinois you know what i mean uh -huh. in certain areas you'll see like it's, it's not very really diverse really yeah okay then maybe maybe it's just like yeah i think i think it's because we grew up here so it's like 
it's kind of all we know. Yeah, feel me? True. It's like all we know. Yeah. But I want to like show that off somehow. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I told this to my friend too when I was at the shopping center in the in the US. Yeah. I was like, yo, everyone looks the same. Really? Like, yeah. Like, and then he was like, yo, you're actually right. When you really look around, like everyone looks the same. You know what? Well, well, I, I think that's kind of like the the crowd. Min- yo, yo, yo. So there's a, there's a theory, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a. I think Ryan told me this actually. Yeah. But it's like a group mentality thing. So if if like a lot of girls are together. Yeah. Even though they're not like the prettiest, they'll look the prettiest because they're all together. <laughs> that's some shit Ryan would say. Does that make sense though? Fuck. Yeah, low key. Right. I I, I think that's that's kind of what you're feeling is like everybody looks the same just because there's so many people. Right. So, so like, in, if you're in a pack, you look more attractive as a as, as a pack. I think. I think I that's think true. No matter what, like, if if there's a lot of something, mm-hmm. you you see things differently. Like, even if you put like a skittle in a bag of other skittles, right? Yeah. A skittle could have like a scratch on it. You wouldn't notice the scratch because there's so many others, right? Yeah. So I feel like let's say you put. Let's say you put like an object or like a snack in a different aisle. Yeah. And this goes into like marketing and shit, right? Okay. So what if they put like the 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 shittier snack or like the suckier tasting snack yeah. in the aisle with all the good snacks or like mm. the section with all the good snacks? Yeah. Subconsciously, you're, you're gonna, gonna think that's a good snack. More in bunches, huh? Mm-hmm. People like bunches, I guess. Exactly. So that's why they always say like surround yourself with like very successful people because yeah. you're gonna be successful if you're around like, okay, imagine imagine Drake has a posse, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, he has oh, his yeah. crew with him. He has yeah. his crew with him. Mm-hmm. No matter what, you're going to think everybody in his crew is successful yeah. because by association. It's Drake. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's true. It's true. I didn't think about it like that. Because, like, when you're when you're out and shit, like, even that um, Midland and Finch, if mm-hmm. you go and, and you see a group of ABGs, <laughs> oh, they, they, they look they, they look, look bad as a group as a group <laughs> but but like if it's individual then like you start to break it down like yeah. oh I, I guess she's pretty but and then this girl like oh maybe not so much but, but you know what i mean like, but like you see that group and it's like damn yeah right you feel me then right i get i get that and like even at clubs like you, you're attracted to a group you know you know when exactly yo, you know that's what, my thing you know when, when we're at a club and um that everyone's partying on their ones mm-hmm. but but we start that little Circle, it's it's like, circle. Hey, I everyone, told you. No, nah, you know how everyone circulates. Yeah, to yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it becomes. It big. ends up. That's why every time we go into the club and yeah. we start that, we our our energy vibrates. Yeah. Then everybody gets attracted to that energy. Oh, that means it's the that. same shit. It's the yeah. same shit. And I feel like you can take that kind of like, kind of like strategy mm-hmm. and then use it for everything. Oh yeah. If you really bag it, right? Yeah. You can use it for like products. You can use mm-hmm. it for like, yo. Even if you're in high school, maybe. That's how that's how like the popular people kind of picked up on it early, eh? Oh, really? Like, if, if you think about it, look. So, so like they latched on to popular kids, I guess. Yeah, no, cause cause it makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say let's say you want to be looked at as like a popular person. Yeah, I'm not saying this. You should like fuck that shit, mm-hmm. but like, anyways, if you, if you want to be seen as that like popular, blah blah, blah mm-hmm. then you would want to surround yourself with that type of crowd. Yeah. Thus, meaning like it's kind of like an illusion as a group together. Yeah. It holds like a higher status, right? Mm-hmm. But if like it's individual, separated, it holds nothing. Like the Mean Girls. Like, yeah, like, exactly. Like what the 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 scene where they're three walking down. Mm-hmm. You associate that's the popular girls, fam. Mm-hmm. Like the leader, most popular in the school. Fam. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All this is coming. I was like, oh shit, I didn't really think about it. Like yeah, that. and then and then there's like the anomaly to that is the person that doesn't need anything that, that's the anomaly that's, so that's rare though that you have to be re- giving off like really good energy. yeah you have to be the the vibration in the room yeah you know what i mean yeah. so like you walk in the room everybody looks at you instead of everybody else looking at groups yeah y- but you that's know, different that's like anomaly yeah i love those people though mm-hmm. like that just radiate energy yeah I'm, I'm a big energy person like i can tell like if i'm talking to a person if their energy is good mm-hmm. like they'll match my shit Right, but but then it's like I kind of get like dumbed down, or like you know those ones where you go to a motive, yeah, and like one of the friends is feeling bad, but everyone is is feeling good. Mm. That friend can really just like I- I'm gonna be sad too. Like bro, like have fun. We're all having fun, but you're the only one. Like Word. like come on, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Type thing. That that's that's when it's your job to like bring them up. You know what I mean? I know that's like fucking us. Uh, in the, <laughs> in sure, the sure. no 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 but, but like it, it's it was funny because in the in the escape room she was yeah. like just just chilling there i'm like yo no, but I, I, feel want, you I want I everyone feel... to have fun like yeah. participate type shit mm-hmm. and i feel you still yeah i'm gonna blur it out though don't worry yeah no but because because you gotta have that kind of like defensive because there's there's theories of like your vibration can be damaged eh? 
Oh, you hear that shit? I, I kind of like the energy. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know if that's true, but that's why like the crystal people, yo, I even have crystals <laughs> in here now. <laughs> <laughs> yo but but some crystal people they have like a crystal yeah. that supposedly like protects them from changing their vibration or some shit word yeah you know who has a really good energy that lights up the room rj and you had him on the podcast oh yeah rj too. rj like, he'll he'll be in a room and he'll just light it up mm -hmm. you feel me he'll, he'll take any boring situation and like fuck like and he'll have anybody laugh yeah, yeah yeah like that's a natural born comedian i feel i feel like when when those people are alone though they're they're not themselves you know yo what you, do you know think? that you know <laughs> that meme was like the funny kid goes home and it's like yeah 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 hella sad you think that's true i don't know I gotta ask RJ still. Yeah, yeah, we gotta ask around because we can't just assume. Yeah, that they're sad. I gotta ask RJ. But Loki is like, what? Well, once you're done entertaining, and who are you, and who's entertaining you? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you might be entertaining all these other kids, but like, are you really like at the end of the day when you go home? I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you seen you seen me in a lot of different stages. So what do you think? You think about me? No, nah, you're chill. You're I'm kind of the same all the time. You're, right? you're chill all around. Like you, you have a good vibe. Like you'll make everyone feel comfortable mm -hmm. i feel like that's good for the podcasting too yeah, yeah like you can have literally anyone on here yeah you're literally i think you're the same too but at the same time i don't know how you are when nobody's there too because you don't know how i am when nobody's there too yeah right what do you like <laughs> i don't know i actually honestly don't know like when you're just chilling by yourself yeah because i don't i used to talk to myself i used to not on some like crazy <laughs> shit. No, I was gonna say like you. No, no, but, but but you know you know how like you talk to yourself in your head, right? Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. I still do that. Here's the thing. You talk to yourself in your head, right? Mm -hmm. Who is that talking? Me. In my hell, in myself, it's like another alternate dimension of me. Isn't it so crazy? Like you can hear a voice in your head, and it's your voice, but nobody's there. Like it's exactly like that sound. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you can you can hear it as if like you're speaking. Yeah. You're making me think I'm insane, <laughs> low key. Now, what do you think though? What do you think? <laughs> nah, it is kind of crazy because like sometimes I'll be like I'll have commentary for my own actions, right? Yeah. So like if I trip, I'm like I'm like yo, hope I'm in my head. This is what's going in my head. Hopefully I didn't. No one saw that. Yeah, <laughs> yo, Gavin, you good? I'm like yeah. Word, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm like. But it's funny because it's like no one's there. It's just like me commentating on my life. Mm, okay, okay. It's like I'm in a movie. You know those ones, uh, the, the main character, like a narrator. The narrator. The narrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel those. that. I feel that. Yeah. But isn't it crazy? Like. I don't know because because is this me is that my voice it is yeah it so, should be so if if your voice changes will that voice change too wait your voice changes in your head yeah it has to right because you didn't sound the same when you were little but you still heard that same voice what <laughs> you feel me no <laughs> yes it did because you like you, when you're little you had a higher pitched voice now you're older No, but i didn't start talking to myself until i'm like old nah you didn't talk to yourself when you're little Everybody has like a conscious like in their head Not consciousness. Like, I don't remember. I like this is the most times I've like I I know that I'm narrating my life type shit. Nah, you had like when you think about yourself in your head, like you have your thoughts. You say it in your voice. I mean, yeah, I, I guess it's still you, but like, but it changes. Take that in, it changes, right? Yeah. So just, so what what if what if one day let's say you move to Australia, yeah. and you take on like Australian accent? Does that mean like the voice in your head will be Australian? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a serious question though. Uh, bro, what? That's a serious question. If you're born with no accent, I don't think it'll have an accent. Yes, family. it will because you didn't sound the same when you were little. What? Your mind's blown a lot. No, it's just confused. <laughs> bro, okay, listen, listen. Say something in your head, right? Yeah. Just say anything. Okay. That was in your voice, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you change the way you speak. <laughs> like you, you change an accent. Will the voice in your head have that accent? Yeah, probably. It will, right? Yeah. So it changes. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe. I just had to catch on. <laughs> that was so weird. It's like, yo, what if you fly to Australia? Now do all your, your voice changes to Australia? <laughs> not, not like that it's quickly. Like fucking, it's like fucking changing Siri to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> not that quickly. No, nah, bro, I don't know. Okay, okay. Do you think, do you think when, because when you say something, mm -hmm. when you say something, it's like automatic, right? Yeah. It's so automatic where, it's almost as if it's your thought. Mm -hmm. Like you don't even think about it. Just yeah. like just like when you do an action, like when you want to scratch something, you don't even think about doing oh, yeah, it. Yeah. You don't think like, oh, I want to scratch my leg. Let me scratch it. You just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So where was I going to this? So like. <laughs> <laughs> this guy got so confused. And you, you got lost in your thought. <laughs> no, no, no. I had a point here. I had a yeah, point yeah, here. Hold yeah, on. Go, go. Okay. So, so like you don't think about stuff. So when you're doing stuff, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is your voice, right? Your consciousness, is, yeah. do you think that's separated from your body? Because I mean, it's your like, it's like your consciousness. Yeah. Mm. Fuck, I don't know. Because if you really bag it, this is this might blow your mind still. Mm -hmm. if, if you really, really bag it, we are just like consciousness in a human experience. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if we lose a limb, we still have the same consciousness. Oh yeah. So we're not, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if we take our body and then put it in a jar and it can still sustain itself, mm-hmm. we would still have the same consciousness. Would we not? Yeah. It's all one. So, yeah. you, so what are you saying? So what you're saying is like, your co- this, your the voice talking in your head, that's mm-hmm. us, right? That's, well, the voice in our head is the real us. Oh, okay. Is the real us. And then everything else is just physical. I mean, yeah, you know, you know the villain. Um, who's the girl who, uh, uh, the monsters in my head said uh, they were going to kill me. Oh, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Yeah. So that's her real self though. Mm. In in fights though, I, I don't, I think about what I'm going to do. Like my, my brain, I talk to my brain. It's like, all right, bet. We're going to throw a right hook right here. You do that? Yeah. Like it's all calculated. Like I'll be like, all right, right hook coming. And then I'll throw it. And then nah, like, I don't talk like, to myself when I fight. Really? Nah. You don't you don't know what's coming next or like oh they're gonna No, throw it's all right instinct. Up. It's all instinct. Really? Yeah, it's a different mode. Oh shit. Yeah, cause cause I don't like I don't speak to myself when I'm fighting. It's just like move it's literally just like action. You don't get into a mode where it's like you're flowing so well that you're like, okay, okay, Carlos. Yeah, but I don't say anything. It's reaction and action. It's action and reaction. Really? Yeah. Okay, because when I'm fighting, I'll, I'll have those reaction moments. But mm. when like I start flowing, like I'll be like, okay, left kick coming, dodge. Mm. Like, like I'll start talking to myself because I'm gaining confidence. Yeah. I yeah, feel like yeah. Iron Man, you know, I was like, Iron Man, ready. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting fireball. Really? Now. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. I know. Like the voice in my head, that's my best friend, fam. <laughs> we, we do everything together. We for lifers. Yo, have you ever seen like, um, our nervous system outside of our body. Have you seen like oh, a like picture a, of that? Yeah, yeah. Did, did you, have you seen it? It's literally like a brain and then just like, it's uh, the, almost the, the tentacles, bro. Yeah, it's wires. It, yeah. literally, it looks like a jellyfish type I shit. I know, yeah. That's why I'm like, yo, if we get paper cut, like so, there's so many blood vessels in our shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm surprised we don't bleed out like even more. Yeah. Cause like paper cuts can do damage. Yeah, Cause yeah, how yeah. sensitive the skin is. Do you, do you think, do you think we can eventually I take our nervous system and just put it into something. <laughs> oh shit. Like, what do you mean? Like a robot? Not even a robot. Maybe something even different. Like what? Cause there's other, there's other physical things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's other like animals, other beings and shit. You think we can put our consciousness into like, let's say a dog's body. <laughs> Imagine. What's that? Uh, oh fuck. There was like something where it's like, oh, freaky Fridays. And then some guy turned to a dog. No, that's all. Um, like, no, Keen no. Peele. You know Keen Peele? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one is like, Roof, give me my uh, treats, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... No, it was Shaggy Dog. I think that's the movie. Shaggy Dog? He, oh, yeah. He yeah, turned yeah. into the dog. He turned into the dog, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fire. So imagine <clears throat> with like Neuralink or some shit. Yeah. With Elon Musk coming out. He, he might come out with some next stuff for our mind, for our brain, yeah. where we can transfer like consciousness to something else. That's so far. No, nah, not even that. It's like you put on a headset, right? Yeah. And then you choose, like you're going through selections mm. of what animal you want to be today. And then like you choose it. Bob. Yo! And then, and then it's like, okay, you, uh, for, for a day, you'll stay in that chamber. But like, as the day goes on, you're the dog. That's sick. Like, wouldn't that be fire? No, you know what's even cooler? Imagine like you have a whole, instead of clothes, <laughs> instead of clothes, you walk in like your room and it's all different creatures you want to be. So you can have like a human, you can have like a female human, you can have like a dog, you can have like an alien, you can have like a really muscular one. Yeah. Like, all right, well, what avatar do I want to be today? And then you put on the (laughs) Yeah. And then you put the thing in and you just come out of the, come out of like the test tube. Boom. (laughs) Yo, Elon, please develop this fam. Life's getting kind of boring still. (laughs) I'm trying to become a dog. I'm trying to become a bird or something, bro. Like I'm trying to spice up my life. Would you do that though? Would you do that? Yeah, I'll turn into you and sit on that side. (laughs) Live out my dream. <laughs> okay, yo, what if what if you could do that? Mm-hmm. Yo, do you think there's something to do with like hypnotism? You can do some sort of thing with that. Maybe not hypnotism. Maybe not hypnotism. <laughs> no, but like hypnot- that's a whole that's a whole get out thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Hi- hypnotism though is weird because like it's not it's it doesn't relate to the body. It's all in the mind, right? Yeah. So, so like that Neuralink is like I guess putting the mind in the bo- body. I guess, but it's still but hypnotism. You it's like oh. You're gonna be a dog, and, but you're still a human. You're just reenacting. Mm, yeah, you're reenacting. It's still a subconscious. Dog. It's still yeah. subconscious, not physical. Mm-hmm. That's true. So it's weird because like you just look stupid <laughs> in hypnotism, bro, bro. There's this crazy theory that in that Conor McGregor is actually a puppet of Dana White. Huh? Yo, so there's this interview, fam. Yeah, and you can see Dana White is like putting his hand behind his back, okay. and anytime, anytime. The, the direction of like attention had to go to somebody. Yeah. Dana White would look first and then Connor, right? What? Look this way. Dana White looks first, then Connor. And then take this in, bro. Yeah. Take this in. He would make him say something 
And while his hand was there, and then he let go, and he said, literally said, you're back now. Uh-huh. He said, you're back now. And then all of a sudden, his mannerisms changed, bro. In an interview? In an interview. Yo, send me the video, fam. Yeah, what? I'll show you it. I'll show you it. No. So imagine, because thinking about thinking about Conor McGregor, yeah. the face of the UFC, oh, face yeah. of the fight game, right? Yeah. You wouldn't want him to mess up anything he says. 100%. So why not put it in the hands of the shot caller no. himself? Oh, not because because if you really think about it, Dana sucks off Connor. Mm. Like it's crazy. And on all his um, when he was fighting Jose Aldo, yeah, and they went on all the tours, mm. he was always there. Yeah. Oh no, not even Mayweather. There was no reason. I don't know why. Um, in every interview, uh, Dana was right beside Connor. Yeah, he was. He was. So that's a theory. Is like. Dana White is the puppet master and Connor's just a puppet. It goes into, you know, MK Ultra. MK Ultra. I heard of it. Fuck, what so, is it? So MK Ultra was this um was this CIA kind of project, right? Mm-hmm. And they worked everything on mind control, studying the human brain, yeah. how you can trigger things through hypnosis, through everything like that, right? Yeah. So it was said that they used this on a, a bunch of different people as like tests. Yeah. And those people still roam around today. They don't even know they were tested on. Oh shit! Because if you think of, if you're hypnotized, mm, you don't you know. Wouldn't you wouldn't know, know. you're hypnotized, yeah. right? Because when you come up that out of hypnotism, everything's cool. Yeah, but like everyone's laughing at you, like what happened? Mm-hmm. You know, because that makes sense. Because Dana is a shot caller, like he's the big guy who does anything. In in like a perfect, um, let's say utilitarian type of mindset <laughs> kind yeah. of view on things. Yeah, you would want it to be like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you can control everything. Like as a businessman, yeah. imagine you can control the people like you needed to control even yeah. though you couldn't. Almost like a con- almost like a video game. But like Dana is kind of playing that video game type because he has control over the whole UFC. Like that's his. Mm-hmm. Like he'll put, he'll get an island and put mans on there to fight. Yeah. Like really think about it. When you, it's not UFC. It's just he's putting people on an island to fight. Mm. Really just bag that. And then bring it to the next level. And he's getting money and he's getting money. Yeah. Yo, that's so true, right? He's every like everyone is a puppet to Dana in that in that league. Mm. Cause he has to sign people. Like, yo, you know what I just thought about? What? What if they do hypnotism for athletes or even boxers mm. so they fuck up their fights? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yo, what if what if like I'm not saying this anything like this happened, it's but true. what if let's say a boxer went to a fight mm-hmm. and they were hypnotized prior without knowing, and then through like a signal, like they yell <laughs> something into the ring. Oh. They change their their fucking movement Yo. and they get knocked out because they they didn't know how to fight. Like like they forget how to fight. Oh shit! Because that can happen, right? They can play with your mind yeah. so that you can forget things. And what if they make you forget your fight through a trigger? Fair. Like they ring a bell or they ring like um they yell something in the ring like a safer bananas, yeah, and then all yeah. of a sudden you forget how to fight. Yeah, and you're just getting knocked and out. Get knocked Boom. out. Yo, you know what? Dana, Dana is probably... I don't know. I, nah, I don't, we, we can't claim nothing. Yeah, but like, I don't want to say that, but like low-key, because like, um, fucking... You know how like the theories, oh, that was a fixed fight, mm. you know? Like, like I don't know why, but like in, in my view, the McGregor, I don't know what happened like mid-first round. Yeah. It's like he stopped trying and he got knocked out by Dustin. I was like, wait, he's kind of looking Okay, off. no, I don't know too much about that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, but... It, it's, it, was a, it was a good fight. It was yeah, a good yeah. fight. But, but, but notice how Dana, whenever someone who, I guess, the underdog wins... It, I, I, I saw a video. He came up and, like, he gave the belt to the guy, but he was so pissed because mm. he's like, this guy should have won. Yeah. What, what if in that fight, they didn't say the trigger word? Damn. <laughs> and they f- up Dana, and Dana acts like, yo, why didn't you say bananas, bro? Yeah. <laughs> we had a deal. Damn. But yeah, Dana, you're doing your thing. <laughs> but yeah, what if they do that for even other sports, bro? What if they do that for NBA? Oh, shit. What if they do that for everything else? You know, yeah. you don't know, bro. And then what if like the trigger? Now this is getting like real conspiracy. Yeah. What if the trigger is not even an obvious noise? What if it's just a low frequency, high frequency thing that nobody else can hear and it silence everybody else? Fuck. Like the DJ in like the stadium plays the thing? Yo. It's- Play it. Yo, remember in Lil Uzi's concert? Lil Uzi. Yeah, what happened? He's like, if you heard this song, you heard it a million times, you're coming to hell with me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> Bro, imagine there's like some frequency that fucks up with your mind, hypnotizes you or something. Fuck. And you're just like in the concert. You're, you're like, a zombie. A zomb- you're a zombie. <laughs> and, and you're on like half the people in like the concert is already high. Mm. So it's way easier. <laughs> yeah. But what if you're sober and you put on headphones the whole concert and you test that theory out? Bro. And, and, and you're like, you're like, 
yo, everyone looks like they're they're getting controlled and shit. Fam, I think there was a Samurai Jack episode about that where like where? Every, everybody in the club was being hypnotized and he had to wear like earplugs, but they were all zombies because of the because of the music. Really? Yeah, there, it was a Samurai Jack episode. I forgot. I forgot exactly what it was, but it was something like that because I remember yeah. the game. I played the game okay. and it had that exact like kind of scenario. Mm-hmm. Bro, so if you think about it, what if what yeah, what if they play with their minds at a concert? Yeah. Kind of to like I don't know. Cuz even <laughs> even just music itself, mm-hmm. even the act of like listening to music. Yeah, we talk about this all the time. It's literally just it's just sounds, bro. Yeah. We're 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 creating kind of like expression through sounds. Yeah. yeah. What if, what if like, um, you know how like the, the higher up artists, yeah. what if they have access to different types of frequencies that are hidden mm. and then they're shown by the labels. Yo, yo, you can use this frequency. It'll do better. Cause m- if that gets, if that frequency hits the ears of people, yeah. they'll love your song. Yeah. So what if, what if like the, Top tier Migos. I think that's what happens, bro. That's gotta happen. <laughs> what if? Because because I remember for a long time during like early, I mean mid two thousands, it was it was um all the songs like Billionaire, um yeah. Price Tags, um I'm Yours, Jason Rex, all of these songs that came out in the same kind of era. Yeah, they had the same chords that you can play on guitar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do you know well, that. What was the one? Um, Rihanna and Umbrella or something. It was it was a Rihanna song that you can play in another song. Oh, I forgot. But I, forgot. I forgot, but but like a lot of Rihanna songs have the same chords to like yeah. different songs. Yeah. So what if there's a, there's like a secret to that? I think we talked a little bit about a bit, it. Yeah, a bit. A little bit. But yeah, we didn't go this deep into mm. it. <laughs> Holy shit! Because it's re- yo, just even talking, right? Yeah. We have we have we put meaning to sounds. Yeah. Remember what I what I told you with with Morty when he had the crystal on his head? No. So there's a Rick and Morty episode. Rick and Morty episode. Yeah. <laughs> I say that every single time. <laughs> so this is Rick and Morty episode, right? Yeah. And what happened was he had a crystal that would show him the path to get to where he wants to be, okay. right? And he was he was he was facing like a charge at at like a jury, right? Yeah. He was he was at a freaking what's it called the the council of Ricks? No, 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 no. My bad. But he he was facing a judge, right? Okay. And he had to explain himself. Mm-hmm. So the crystal was kind of giving him sounds. That were so pleasing to the ear that made her be like, oh, okay, just let him go. But he wasn't saying words. Yeah. He was literally just going, uh, it, uh, you know what and I mean? it worked and it worked. Bro, it worked. Cause if you think about it, when I talk to you, yeah, it's all just sounds. Yeah. It is. E- even although we put meaning to to the sounds, mm-hmm. it is all just sounds. Yeah. So our brain can kind of take things. That's why you hear things differently, right? Yeah. That's why our brain can take things and then put like meaning to it, even though it didn't exactly mean that. Yeah. Right. It, cause, cause like, let's say, let's say like a happy word, for example, uh-huh. a dog. Yeah. For example, a dog. Did you know if you tell your dog something in like a, a nice voice, yeah. just because he's, he's used to hearing that kind of tone, he'll get excited. Okay. So if I'm like, um, go back to your thing. Right. Yeah. If, if I say like, you want a treat? <laughs> you know what I mean? He'll get scared. He'll get scared. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of the same thing. It's literally just like tonal mm-hmm. kind of rhythms. You're right. You're right. Because, yeah, if you do. Cause yeah, because dogs can't really understand us. Mm-hmm. If you're really bad. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, you want a treat? Yeah. Oh, shit. He gets scared because yeah. he doesn't He doesn't put meaning to the sound. But uh, a pe- more peaceful, calm meaning is like, I guess, the nicer to them. Mm. That makes sense, bro. Yeah. But yeah, that, it's funny because like, you know how I have that... um. I have a high pitched, like a high pitched voice. Yeah, yeah. And someone told me he's like, like you know, um, I guess I have this friends like voice when I'm hanging out with friends. Mm-hmm. Like I'm high energy, right? Yeah. But like whenever I'm going on like a date, I guess I I have to put like two like a, an octave down. <laughs> Word, yeah. Because I know it's like my shit can get annoying at some points if like I'm really high energy. So if, if, you, if you, you talk put, too much, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, put yeah, on that, like that. I guess you put on like that sexy voice mm. and like yo, it's like yo, like yo, what, what do you say? <laughs> like you know, and yeah, I, yeah. I catch myself doing that because yeah. it's like the tone. I get it, like. Mm-hmm. I guess it's more attractive, like a deeper type of voice. Yeah. See, I I think I think there's really an art, and I think we should study this more because I studied it a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. I know you did. <laughs> I think I think there's a real art to using your voice to sound kind of musical. Yeah. And I mean, not musical in the sense of like rhythm, but I mean like pleasing to the ear, like exactly pleasing and pleasing to the ear and pleasing to sound like. You, you, you know you know how people say whenever I say something it sounds important. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it'll be like yo yo look at that piece of dirt. Yeah, and yeah. Like, oh shit. Like, did you know the pocket lint? 
<laughs> but yeah, we study that though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the actions. Like, we always sound excited. So I feel like there's a real art to that type of thing. And I think especially politicians, they yeah. use that. Oh, yeah. They have to because they're convincing millions of people to vote for them, bro. Mm. I remember one guy that um, I think we both looked up to, Markiplier. Yeah. Markiplier is one of the most entertaining video game. Oh, he can yeah. make anything. Cause for real. He, he'll change pitch, change lowers. He, he'll go from high to low. Mm. Even like the most boring story of him going to the grocery store. He'll, he'll be exciting. So exciting, yeah. fam. And, and um, Jack Septicai. I used to want to be like Jack oh, Septicai, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he's annoying now. <laughs> like, like, he's just, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Like, yeah. You know? you know who I big up a lot who? with that? 6 9 Yo, I, I hate six. how we go back to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but six, if, if, you, if you really back it, no matter what he says, mm -hmm. even though he's very discredited, like, yeah. we don't want to listen. We don't want to listen to him. He has a point. We listen to him. Yeah. Not because what he has to say is so important. Mm -hmm. It's because the way he says he says it. Yeah. The way he says it makes it so important. Yeah, for sure. Fam. Just crazy. Yeah. And I learned that too, because remember I did speech competition? Yeah. And like the most boring, I mean, some people will have like the most interesting topics, like some alien shit. Mm -hmm. And like they would do monotone. I'm like, I don't want to listen to this yeah. shit. But I'll be talking about like some piece of dirt. Mm -hmm. Fuck, bro. I'll, I'll entertain the people, bro. Exactly. Yo, yeah. did you know there's a there's a six nine theory? No, what? Yo, yo, I wanted I wanted to say the six nine theory to six nine himself, like if I ever got him <laughs> yeah, on the yeah, podcast. Yeah. I'll probably bring it up again if we ever okay. have him on. But cool, cool. I'm I'm gonna tell you. Let me know. Let me know. So there's a theory uh -huh. that six nine when he was going on that whole rampage of like I want to beef with everybody. Mm -hmm. This was before he got locked up, right? Okay. There's a theory that he is actually a fed. And he just wanted to cause all that beef to try to find out all the different criminal organizations within the rap industry. Uh, no, listen, listen, listen. Because he was trying to beef with everybody, right? He did, yeah. He was trying to beef with... And we know he cooperates with the government already. <laughs> oh, he yeah. He already cooperates with the FBI, period. Yeah, yeah. He even said that himself. Oh, so yeah. what if he was just like, not an industry plant, but like an industry plant by the FBI to fucking try and oh. see... Who does illegal shit in the rap industry? That's that's a sick industry plan though, cause like he did produce like some sick music. Mm -hmm. Like like the government probably studied this, cause he did have a whole wave of his own. Yeah. Like everyone loves Six Nine at one mm -hmm. point, right? But then like it makes sense, cause f yeah, cause he did get out. He did get St out. There you go. The the charges that he was charged for, people usually don't get out for. Fam. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Like, that, uh, like the fact that he got out clear. Mm hmm. It was supposed to be like 50 years or something. Yeah. Why the hell did it go from 50 to zero just like that, you mm -hmm. know? And because Taken, he was saying he was encouraging violence. He was encouraging like illegal shit to happen, right? Yeah. So that's kind of like a trap, bro. Because mm. if, if I don't know, I don't know if it's true, but imagine, imagine that was true. Mm -hmm. The FBI would be smart as if they did that oh yeah that's that'd the play be, of the century that would oh be God. the craziest play ever bro imagine you get insight on gang life mm -hmm. on the drugs going around fam, and the set. music industry oh, bro <laughs> three one three birds one stone fam. exactly <laughs> holy and and really it, it could be true there's no way to prove it mm -hmm. but it could be yeah fuck right oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because he actually had a whole wave though it's like mm -hmm. it's like 6 9 was so cool because we know already like fbi or like the police will put undercover agents yeah. into that scene just like in remember fast and furious yeah they put paul walker there he was a cop mm -hmm. even in point break same thing yeah you know what i mean yeah yo did you notice that fast and furious and point break <laughs> had like the same plot really did you bag that no i didn't so paul walker was was the was the cop that was undercover to try and crack down on all the drag racers right yeah and then in Point Break, Keanu Reeves was an undercover cop trying to crack down on all of the surfers. So oh, it was just surfing and racing. Oh, shit. Yo, plagiarism. You know, um, every Family Guy episode is a Simpsons episode? Nah. Did you bag that? No, it's not. And, and also, it, you have to rewatch the episodes. But Simpson throws so many shots at Family Guy throughout their, their whole season. No way. So, so one of them was, um, they had an episode where they cloned all the homers. Yeah. And and who's the, the Family Guy, the big guy? Peter. Peter? He was in one of the clones. So they're, say, they're taking a shot at him that he's just a clone of Homer. No way. For real? Yeah. And and, and here's another one. So they, they were doing a criminal book in The Simpsons. Yeah. And they one of the, the victims was plagiarismo. 
and whoa. No. And, and one, one of the uh, the picture was thing Peter. What? Yeah. So they throw hella shots at, at the Family Guy. That's crazy. What the I hell? Know. You have to really watch it back. They have the same plot. Damn. Yeah. No, I feel like that happens a lot. Just even in even just whether it be cartoons, movies, oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah podcasts. And, yeah. Podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, I I hate it. I hate it when it's just like a straight up copy. Yeah. But if it's just like taking inspiration, then that's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. But if it's to the point where it's like exactly that, I'm telling you, fam, like it's all the time. Like, don't make it obvious, bro. I know. It's, man. Like, it's like, okay, if you're going to start a podcast, fam, don't go and have a cardigan on <laughs> and, and, and put on uh, the a leash chain. chain and then have a guy, the same guy with like a, always a hat on. Like, you know, <laughs> like we know it's, you're trying to copy it. Yeah. You feel me? But like, hey, man, be inspired. Like, we love, we love seeing like the mm -hmm. kids start this shit. Yo, I, I always get the messages like, yo, y'all, y'all inspired me to do Damn. the podcast and stuff. And fam, that means so much to me. But I always preach. They always ask me for advice. I'm mm -hmm. like, this is the biggest advice I can give to anybody that wants to start a podcast. Yeah. Do something they haven't seen yet. Yeah. Do something they haven't seen yet on a podcast. Mm -hmm. And we haven't really seen kind of like this, this, this type of, this type of, content you know what yeah, I, mean? I know or this type of like category in a podcast yeah because we were even talking with with our advisors before yeah. how do you categorize jumpers jump i don't know what would you Ooh, categorize don't it's like it's, it's so like, hard in my eyes it's just of two friends having a deep talk because mm -hmm. we love having deep talks with like all our boys yeah so then it's a deep talk but then we talk about pop culture <laughs> but then we talk about theories but then we talk about sneakers then we talk about streetwear you the, know our, ad, our advisors like yo please like let's stick to one yeah but, but it's, it's kind of like we can't because like that's our whole thing i know like we can't stick to one yeah we can't <laughs> bro we can't we, can. we literally can't because yeah. if, if you if we sat here remember okay well, they don't know this but when we started we were only gonna do a streetwear podcast yeah we were just gonna straight on streetwear Fam, let me tell you that was one of the most exhausting things i've ever done yeah i know an hour just talking about straight streetwear imagine doing 60 episodes i would hate that exactly i would have hated that and then as soon as we're like okay let's just talk mm -hmm. and then and then that the, the, the <laughs> that's when it came out because i did <laughs> i jumped or jumped to the moon <laughs> holy shit just, that's when it just came out like really really it just came out because we're like okay yeah let's just not like segregate ourselves from anything mm -hmm. let's just talk how we usually talk exactly because we have interesting ass combo yeah and for all those other people that want to kind of even if you want to be creative in anything else it doesn't even have to be podcasting whether it be like art whether it be mm. like music yo Use your craziest ideas. Yeah. Even if it doesn't sound, if it sounds like, oh, that's a little bit cringe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it sounds crazy to your other friends or it doesn't seem like that cool at the time, mm -hmm. if you if you put your own twist on it and people fuck with it, yeah. yo, trust me, it's, it's better off just trying whatever you can. And if you love what you do and people vibe with it, then you won. Fam, you know what I mean? There's, there's a niche for everything. People don't understand that. Exactly. Like, there's a guy who makes his living off opening Pokemon cards. Like, mm. like that's, he was the first one to like first do that shit. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm thinking like, bro, like no one's going to like this, but and then the there's whole culture, so, there's so many people that love that shit. Exactly. Like even like if you're into crystals, fam, start a, a podcast about crystals. No, yeah. Part. I was watching all these videos on crystal cause I wanted to buy one. Exactly. And there's a million views on yeah. that. Like you feel me? Like you can really do like whatever you want, like whatever you really like, even mm. though it's not cool to anyone, just do it. Man. Exactly. The biggest, the biggest lesson is is just like stay true to yourself yeah because myself i i love these this things is the theory. this is carlos this, right this here. is literally just my personality yeah yeah so if you want to start po put your personality into the podcast mm -hmm. don't just put in what's trending yeah you know and i mean because mm -hmm. that's how you grow like true connection with with supporters because mm -hmm. yeah. they vibe with not just the content they vibe with your personality they vibe with you yeah it's right. like the best friends online, fam. Mm -hmm. We're like the big bros, the cousins at the, the Filipino kickback. You feel me? Yeah. Like we're, we're comfortable. That's why I'm like, yo, I want to meet these guys in person. Because I feel like we would have like the sickest combos. Mm. Like everyone would just be gathered and we're like, yo, you know that theory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming soon, man. But yeah. All right. You want to end it there? Yeah, we can end it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, Tune in to my vlogs. They're coming out. Gavin's going to be featured yes, too. Yes, sir. And yeah, any announcements? Uh, my Twitch is starting this week. Okay. I, so I'm going to... Okay. I'm gonna be on Twitch. Go follow that. I'm gonna link it in the bio. Let's go. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my new channel, subscribe. I'm gonna link that in the bio. Mm -hmm. Jumpers jump out later. Deuces.